What's up, y'all? MC here. I kind of wanted to do a knife head-to-head -head with these two knives, and I thought I'd call it the Sharp Stuff Showdown. Now, this is the first one of these I've done, so I'm kind of going to feel my way through. So if it gets away from me or gets a little sloppy, I apologize in advance. These are two knives I recently acquired, and after having them both in front of me and getting them in the hand, they were similar enough that I kind of wanted to do a little comparison contrast for myself and for for anybody else who is considering one or both of these knives, what I have here is the Concept Convict and the CJRB Echo. This is the liner lock version. They do make a button lock version, but this is not that because it was a more fair comparison. Now, I'm going to start with materials and we'll kind of go from there and see if I can muddle through this with y'all. This particular, my particular version of the Concept convict is 154 cm and a blue g10 now usually the blue the blue g10 like this this blue looks a little cheap and it kind of does but it doesn't feel bad it's very stout it's very sturdy so you won't have any problems with that there's no lanyard hole and the pocket clip is not the best but not the worst but it is not very deep carry as you see, you're going to have a decent little amount sticking out there. Nothing fancy on the outside at all. Just kind of a basic approach to the aesthetic. Now, the CJRB Echo. This one's a green micarta. Feels really nice. I don't love green micarta, but this one is well done. Looks good. Feels good. An AR RPM 9 steel which is CJRB's proprietary steel. Actually, are some Cutlery's proprietary steel. And I'm told it's just like D2 with better corrosion resistance. Now, right away, you'll probably notice that the clip on this one, and the clip on this one, by the way, is really well done. It's almost completely flush. Might stick up just a hair, but you won't have any problems with that. And it is much deeper carry. And it is reversible, and the Convict is not. Now... This one does have CJRB's kind of telltale lanyard hole in that backspacer. There's a good look at it. It's right there. See it? And they do this a lot at CJRB. They kind of hide it in that backspacer, which is kind of cool. doesn't mess up the aesthetic of the knife, but it still gives you that option if you want it. Now, they both can deploy with this thumb hole, bean hole. Whatever you want to call this guy right here. But the Echo does have the added top flipper. I am a terrible top flipper. But it's there as an option. Now, I can get my thumb in there and do this. And it's not bad. It's not bad. But this reverse flick on this thing, man, it just fires out. And I really, really like this stout, rounded sheep's foot blade. It is fantastic. It looks good. It feels good. It fires right open. Like you hear that? I hope that's coming through in the volume. So, but that's the only method of deployment. And like I said, the thumb one's not the best. I can get in there, but I kind of have to jam my thumb fat in there. And I mean, I can do it. I would never do it. I would always open it this way. So it's really not an issue to me because I would never open it that way. But if that's how you prefer to open knives, yeah, like I said, I have to jam my thumb fat in there, and that's not the best feeling in the world. <clears throat> my thumb's insecure about things like that. Now, this one here, once again, I can get my thumb in there. Same thing. Not the best. Does open a little bit better that way. This reverse flick is just incredible. I love it. I love it. Now, the top flip, front flip, I can do it. And if I can do it, you might really be good at it. Once again... It's not the way I would normally open the knife, nor would I normally open it with the thumb. Because if I get this guy in my hand, I'm doing this right here all day. And I'm going to drive everybody around me nuts, flicking it 150 times every five minutes. But this one also has a really nice blade, kind of an upswept there. A little fancier looking with a swedge in it. And again, this is an AR RPM 9 versus 154CM. Now, the micarta on this is contoured a little bit, and it is super comfortable in the hand. Now, I've got a really wide hand from here to here, 
but I do have shorter fingers, but this is so comfortable in my hand. I don't feel the pocket clip at all, and I can really, really choke up on it. I can get four fingers on it, no problem. The jimping, there's no jimping on the back of this one, and there's no jimping on the back of this one. So, there's no jimping. Nobody gets to jimp. That's fine. We'll live. We're tough. They did give you a little bit of a eye candy here with that gold pivot collar. A little bit of billboarding on the blade. Not much there. A little bit more there. Tells us. What does it tell us? Oh, it's Ray Laconico and then the steel and then the item number for CJRB. Concept has that really cool X. And then that says Sheepdog Knives. So that's a cool name. So those are the designers. Between the two, like this one, let's see. Let's do a weight real quick. And then we'll put them side by side so you can see what they look like up against each other. I always forget where the power button is. Moron. All right, this is the Concept Convict. 3.65, not bad. Not bad for a knife that size at all, I don't think. Like, And he doesn't carry heavy. When you have him in the hand, he's balanced well. He's also got a nice four-finger four grip. And this guy, 3.42. So there's not enough weight difference to, to even matter, honestly. Oh, the camera. Now, if you're not seasick, yeah, there's not enough weight difference to even matter. And then, side by side, this guy looks a lot wider. But, I mean, in the hand, he, he does feel a little wider, because I, but I think it's because he's so flat. And I think that leads to that uh, feeling broader, and it might be a little broader. And, but these contours are awesome. Now, I've got a lot of CJRB RPM9 steel, and I've never had an issue with it. I've got a lot of Kaiser 154CM, and I've never had an issue with it. Now, I've never used either steel in like hard use scenarios or done anything crazy like some of the stuff you see people doing with their knives. So I can't speak to its hard use capability but either of these are going to be great for everyday carry purposes if you're just doing normal stuff with them and honestly if you're going to do that hard of use stuff you're going to try to go get something these aren't going to be your selections anyway if that's what you're looking for i mean i think they will do whatever you need but neither of them are going to be your first choice access to the liner lock is good on both of them i do feel this pocket clip just a little bit but it's, it's not a hot spot. It's, I'm just aware of it. I'm just aware of where it's at. So the, the biggest thing between these two, now I'm biased. I prefer the Echo, but that's just me. I also love this one. I love the look of it. I love that big stout blade, kind of no-nonsense look of this one. But I, I love Ray Laconico's stuff, and this one's just fantastic to me the biggest problem is 80 bucks 60 bucks now 20 dollars. if you really like this knife if you love this blade shape or you absolutely love 154 cm steel 20 bucks is not worth picking one over the other so i mean if this is the one you like get it it's not worth 20 dollars difference but if you don't have a preference this one's not worth $20 more. So I would be very surprised if most of you thought this was a $20 superior knife once they were in your hand. Now, if I had to keep one and throw one away, I'd keep the CJRB and I'd pitch the concept. But I don't have to pick. I'm going to keep them both. I like them both. I just prefer this one. And... Uh, if you know more about 154 CM versus AR RPM 9 steel, that might be a deciding factor for you too. For me, 
from what I know and what I've read, there's not enough difference for me to pick one of these based on the steel. So I just have to go with the one I like better. Um, this is my first Sharp Stuff Showdown. If you guys have any comments, any feedback, something I can do better at this, please let me know. I uh, hope you guys are having a great night. Thank you so much for watching.